So here I am again, folks. I am following up to the video of Tony's Butchers in East Leek. Um, what I'm doing again, folks, is I'm trying to encourage people to use local shops and local businesses for their um, to get their stuff. So whatever you need, go to your local stuff. Now, um, if you can hear the washing machine in the background, I do apologise. It's a candy. It's quite good. It's got all these different settings on it. It's um, it's a bit like a Starship Enterprise. This candy washing machine, but you don't want to hear about that. Um, so, what I've done, um, Tony's son. Uh, Jake, he got in touch with me. Uh, you might have seen our uh, previous video of his shop, and um, he's, he's, I've had some sausages off him. I've had red onion, breakfast, Lincolnshire, and I've had a bit of bacon. And he's also gave me a steak that I want. He wants me to try, but I will do that at a later date because although I am built like a dustbin, I'm you know I've got my dinner in a bit and all that kind of stuff. So. So what I'm trying to do, though, folks, obviously I'm going to repeat myself again. Uh, I want people to use local businesses. These little shops in villages and towns, they need the help. You don't want you all to go going to Tesco's and buying uh, Tesco's and Asda and all them and buying goods that aren't as good as the ones that they produce. These guys put in a lot of hard work. My normal butcher that I see in love with great central meat, they're working all the while, absolutely all the while, to, to provide a service for people you know who who want these kind of products so so anyway this lad uh, jake he sent me an email i've been out i've done him a favor he uh he he did my he saw my chip shop review of the supreme fish bar in loughborough and apparently he's mates with the owner or the owner's son and um asked me if i would do it and i says yes because i want to help i want me if, if i can get encourage you to eat in your local shop even though this is East Leak, and I'll probably never go to East Leak again. I've got no nothing against East Leak, but I'm trying to encourage people to do that. So, in all of your local villages around here, these you know, these Corn, Loughborough, Mount Sorrel, or Colville, or Whitwick, or Whitwick as we're supposed to say, or Chapel St Leonard's. I said that the other day. You just use your local businesses in in the stuff is so so well i hope it's much better anyway that's what i've cooked folks i've cooked three little breakfast sausages two bits of bacon two red onion ones and two lincolnshire we'll start off with the uh, breakfast sausage now these remind me these take me back to when i was a child and i used to stay around my grandma's granny gertz she always always had these i could never understand why um she always had these because I always thought sausage should be like the size of the other ones. But no, this is what we had. Granny Gert ruled uh, with an iron fist and that was it. Ain't that right, Unky Steve? Unky Steve is great. Uh, is Granny Gert's son. My dad's mother as well, so it's all there. Um, there you go, look. Lovely. Mmm. Absolutely love that. You get the full flavour. When I cooked the sausage, there was no, yeah, there was a little bit of fat. It's got to be expected. But it was just, it's just pure taste. No water, no rusk or whatever they put in it. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It really is an excellent sausage. And these local shops do good stuff. You can't get this quality from the. You can't get this quality from a Tesco's or a co-op or whatever. I tell you what, the other day we were stuck. We were hunting sausage sandwiches and we ran out of sausages. And I was just um, I was on my way to Asda and I bought some sausages and they were they were just nothing. On them, they didn't brown up or nothing. So anyway, I'm going to go to the bacon now. Crispy bacon, nice little bit of fat on the edge there. Absolutely lovely. It's just bacon. 
there's no fat there's no when i say fat there's a little bit of fat there but that brings to the flavor and if you make it crisper you've got nothing to lose as you've seen on the previous video if you have Tony's just a bloke in a butcher's shop in his sleep and he's just grafting away. Right, I'm now going to go on to the Lincolnshire one. This has got to be a work of the, one of the most traditional sausages. To the visually impaired, I'm holding the sausage up and it looks like sausage. But it's just pure meat with a few herbs and spices. Wow, oh, fuck it up. Powerful fire. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely again. A proper sausage, full of flavour. The skin's nice on it. It's nothing artificial about it. This, I mean, I don't want to compare Tony's to Great Central Meats or anything like that. This is it. But this is why I use the Great Central Meats because. They just do super stuff. They just they just do super stuff. It's they and Tony are brilliant, it, and it's just what it's all about. It's it's just a, it's like it must be a dying art for people like these to be doing this. So people just all I'm saying is, I mean look at that. Look both sides. It's like a black uh, stick of Blackpool rock. It's quality all the way through. Hmm. Lovely. Now, this is the one I really want to try. The red onion. The sausage. I've got to get some really nice. Sausage again. Oh, Jesus, that's good. Now that is... You can... That's a lovely, lovely smell. Um, to the visually impaired, I was holding the sausage up again, and you can just see that it's pure meat with a few herbs and spices in it, but you can really smell the onion in this. That is absolutely outstanding. And Tony's done well here. He's, he's thought outside the box, which is what today is all about. You actually have to think a little bit outside of the box and try and think of something new and creative to, to keep people interested in your stuff. Oh, my God. That is absolutely superb. I'm trying to find if there's any gristle in there or anything. Working my tongue over the meat. But it's not. It's just a good taste. A superb mixture of pork and onion together. And they go hand in hand. Really, really nice. I mean, look. Tremendous. The work and the thought that's gone into that. Oh, and it's full of as well. Oh, that is lovely. So, I'm going to have another mouthful of that. See if I can describe it even more. See, anything, anything we cook like this, we bake in the oven. Because I would rather something like this cooking its own juices, right? When you start putting uh, oils and stuff in like that, I think that takes away. And I think it makes it a little bit greasy and slimy and stuff like that. And it seems like the flavours of the sausage go into the oils. And then you're losing your flavours. And I can't see the point of that. And also then all you do is you tip the oil down your sink. And that can't be any good for anything, can it? That can't be any good for anything. Your sink, your pipes, your drains, the environment. It can't be any good. So, people, if, what I'm saying is, when you do cook this, just try chucking it all in the oven. Obviously, if you've got thicker sausages. Uh, if you've got sausages, then put them in for 10 minutes first. Then put your bacon in. We, we do pretty much everything, and the day, air fat fryer 
that we've got. If you've not seen uh, an air fat fryer, um, look my previous videos up. I'm not trying to get you to look at my videos to make money. I'm doing this for a bit of fun, a bit of laugh, and something to do. It's just a hobby, right? I know, it, I know your subs have gone stupid, but I'm not doing it for that. I'm just doing it for something to do. Bit more sausage. Mm. So if you are cooking anything like this, folks, just try to kill them. You've got nothing to lose. It won't kill it. It won't cook it to death. Obviously, don't go and put it in and walk off and leave it for two hours because then that's just bloody stupid. But to do that, to cook these, these are all cooked in the oven. Brilliant. You just put them on a baking tray, put a bit of greaseproof paper on the baking tray so it don't knock your tray and leave it. You're okay. But what I'm going to do, folks, I've got two doggies here and they're both looking at this. So I'll put, uh, I'll put the two uh, make the breakfast sausages in for the dogs. So, you come here first. Put that over there, just a quick. Are you okay? How's that? What do you think to that? Yeah? You like that? And then we've got the uh, doodle with his faded Mohican. Put mate. Put. Not you. No, you can't have it. You bagged yours. Yeah. You got it? What do you think to that? Yeah, so I think the dogs like uh, the sausages as well. Um, but this is just great. It's really good. So. Mm. Top drawer. Use your local butchers. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Just give your local butchers. Mm. Put your washing machine going now. Just give your local butchers a chance. Yeah. You've got nothing to lose. But can I just say if you do go in these shops on my recommendations, just mention Blue Van Man. I don't want no freebies. I don't want no whatever out of it. It's just nice to know that people are actually listening to what I'm saying and they are using these shops. Because they all need help and we all need to st stick together so these big shops don't take out. These sausages are great. If Tony's weren't so far away, I'd use him again. Well, I'll stick with my mates in uh, Loughborough. Great central meats. Look, Tony, they are absolutely shit off, mate. Really good. It's just proof in the pudding that people should use more local shops and local businesses. I'm sounding like bloody league of gentlemen. I pay, make no apology for that. Use the smaller guys. They'll, they'll thank you for it. And you get personal service as well. You get a proper personal service. You get a bloke who'll stand there or a woman who will chat to you for a couple of minutes and they'll tell you anything about the meat that you want. You, go, you can't go into Tesco's and say, can you tell me a bit about this sausage? And they'll say, it's in a packet, two fifty nine. Where these will tell you how they cut it. They ask you how you want to cut it. In, and it's just perfect. It's just the way it should be. So, all right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. And use your local shops and businesses. Laters.